Day today. Um, I wanted to show you what's going on in our Fritz Hall. And here's a familiar face. Hi, St. John's and everyone out there. I hope you're staying safe and inside. Unfortunately, we still have children that need to eat and adults as well. So the um, Hunger Initiative uh, is contacting the summer breakfast campers that we had during the summer and inviting them to come here once a week, stay outside, we'll bring the food to them. And we're asking how many they need and we're going to deliver on a Thursday at 11 o'clock and they can drive up and pick up the food. We've got food donated from the Hockendockwa Fire Hall. We've got from individual donors. We have some second harvest and we appreciate all the donations. The pastor will scan the tables here and show you how much food we've already collected. We'll be giving 12 bags to the needy children at St. Elizabeth's and the rest will be in Whitehall Company School District. And we hope to pack as many bags as needs to be. So if you have any donations, you can drop them off at the on the front porch of the church or call me or email me or text me and I will make sure I get a delivery schedule for you. Thanks so much for helping. Thanks, We're Lana. Doing God's work. Amen. All right. I'm going to take you over now to the nave where we're going to, oh, there's a familiar face. Oh no. Wave, Betty. All right. I want everyone to know that Betty is keeping a good social distance from everyone. She is yes, staying safe in these times. And I'm sorry for having to turn you around now. Thank you. Oh, and there's that funny door that slams. So, you know, we're really here at St. John's. Okay, friends. So glad that you're tuning in with us today. Let me take you over to my second office, which we have set up here in the nave for broadcasting. And uh, it's a very gloomy and cold day today and rainy and chilly. And we hope that seeing my face and Lana's face and seeing the good work that we are trying to do will bring a little bit of sunshine into your lives. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear these words from the book of Ephesians had we gathered together and not had a streamlined and streaming both worship yesterday, you would have heard these words from Ephesians chapter five. Once you were darkness, but now in the Lord, you are light. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what some people do secretly. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Sleeper, awake. Rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, amid all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom, comfort those in distress, and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O God, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us this day by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that always we are walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.